Hello guys, it's Tony, and guess what? I am getting ready for a graduation party. My last baby is graduating, and I always give a nice backyard graduation party. Well, this year I just have one little problem. My husband hired a bunch of guys to cut down a lot of trees in our yard, about 13 trees, and they trampled all over and made quite a big mess in my nice little garden I created. So we have a lot of work to do to recreate the garden I had already. And with all the trees gone, I have a lot more area to work with that I need to make decent and nice for the party. So for the next week or so, I'm going to be working like crazy to transform my backyard mess into something beautiful for my daughter's party. So starting with this area over here where we already put in a new fence, I want to show you how we created a nice little inexpensive quick and simple patio for my bistro set. First thing we had to do is clear out an area for the patio. So I drew a circle and we used a rake and a shovel to, to sort of level out that circle. So I want this area to be flat. And I'm using a tamper to pound around and help make the ground solid and help level it out. Now I'm gonna put my table down in the center and put a level down just to make sure the ground is level because mainly I want it level for this table and my yard is on a slope. So I have to make sure it's not tilted too much. Okay, so to make my patio, I'm using 12 inch pavers. And I got these from Walmart for $1.32 each. I'm placing one in the center of the circle and six around the center piece. And I put my table again on top of the pavers so that I could check to see how level the pavers are. And it looks pretty good. Now as I'm putting these pavers down, I stand on it and rock back and forth to see if it is rocking a little. I want to put a little dirt in that area underneath so that the pavers won't move while you stand on them. Okay, so I put 12 more pavers around, one underneath each piece plus one in between each piece. So I used a total of 19 pathers. So to prepare for the next step, I wet the ground. At about 340 a bag, I'm using about eight bags of pea gravel to go in between the pathers. Thank God my boys are home from school. They can help with the yard work. We're using a rake to help spread out the gravel in between the stones. If you want to make a more defined circle for the patio area before you pour out the gravel, you can use some easy flex landscape and edging. You just lay it around on the ground and it comes with stakes that you can just um, put a few in to keep the edging in place and it'll help keep the rocks and the mulch separated. But I was in a bit of a hurry and skipped that part, but it will be okay. So after we finished pouring all the peat gravel and packing it in between the pavers, the boys hosed it down to expose the pavers and the rocks and put brown mulch around the patio. We added a few plants. and some stones. We even buried some pathers to make steps that lead up to the patio. So now I have a nice little quiet zen-like spot to get away and have some tea and relax. Hey, I'm filming here. This will be relaxing of course when my husband's not in a yard. And it will be great for the graduation party too. But for now, it's back to work. I'll see you next time as we shape up the rest of this yard. Follow me on Facebook, 
Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.